G'day Duel Masters fans, I'm going to smash out a quick deck profile today. So in today's deck profile we're going to cover my Living Dead deck, and this deck basically centers around Megaria, Empress of Dread. So she is a 5 for 5 uh, darkness creature, and basically when she's on the battlefield all creatures get Slayer, so this is pretty awesome. Um, so basically with this kind of deck you just want to put in a whole heap of creatures, a whole heap of cheap creatures, and give them all Slayer using this card and just go in for the win. And of course I'm pairing it with a Zombie Carnival. Zombie Carnival is um, fast becoming one of my favourite darkness cards. You know, the 5 mana spell, get back 3 creatures of the same race from your graveyard back to your hand. Um, and yeah, so basically with these two cards you can put in just these two and then any other just like heaps of cheap creatures that share the same race. So you could use like, I don't know, brain jackers, humans, just whatever. And just, you know, pff, Bob's your uncle and just go in for the win, give them all Slayer and get them back with Zombie Carnival. Yeah, pretty cool. So in today's video, I decided to make a Living Dead deck. So, first Living Dead card, of course, is Mary is a Twister. This card's really good, you know, just a one-for-one one blocker. is really good in this deck. So when he attacks, he basically kills himself. Um, but yeah, you can give him Slayer and all that sort of stuff. Get him back easy because he's only one mana. Um, and yeah, and when he dies, who cares? Because Zombie Card was going to get him back anyway. Next card is Rolling Bone Ball, of course. Simple two for two, Living Dead. Dies pretty quickly, but we can get him back easy. Uh, Wandering Brain Eater, just a two for two um, blocker that can't even attack. So yeah, basically using him as a two drop Living Dead. We can give him Slayer, so he's actually not as bad as he looks. I mean, he is bad, but you know, when he's got Slayer and when you can get him back with Zombie Carnival, you know, good as gold. Next card I'm running is Ghost Touch because the deck needed more two drops. And yeah, I just basically wanted to make a mono darkness deck. The only three drop in the deck, of course, is Bone Spider. This guy's pretty cool. So once again, a Living Dead, um, quite big. He can kill a lot of the sort of mid-game creatures like Bark Whip, the Smasher, Gonta. And yeah, basically when he wins a battle, he dies. But uh, yeah, who cares? Because I'm running Zombie Carnival. And also, Skeleton Thief, the Revealer. So this guy's another really good Living Dead. So... 4 mana 2,000 power living dead, and when you summon it, you get to return a living dead from your graveyard back to your hand. So yeah, all these cheap living dead creatures are dying, we can get them back using this card, Zombie Carnival. Um, he, because he's a living dead himself, he can actually get himself back if you've got another one in the graveyard. So yeah, pretty cool card. Next card is Proclamation of Death. Just needed, you know, some shield triggers, 4 mana shield trigger. Your opponent chooses a creature, chooses one of his creatures in the battle zone and destroys it. So yeah, just a bit of a filler card, shield trigger. And of course, the last card is uh, a place at a terabit. So, yeah, really fun, just cheap, just a, you know, one of those cheap, fun, interesting decks that I put together. Um, Megaria Empress of Dread, I think, is a really cool card. Um, I just love, you know, the fact that everything has Slayer, so it doesn't even matter how much power you know the enemy creatures have. Like they could have some like giant creature on the field, but like who cares? Because everything's got Slayer. So yeah, and being at 5,000 power, she can be quite difficult to get rid of. Um, you know, Tornado Flame and stuff can't hit her. But yeah, anyway, that's my deck, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I'll catch you next time.